What's up everybody, how's it going? So I'm talking to you from inside the truck obviously, but that is because it is far too windy outside. I've already taken one video outside and the shit just wasn't working. Um, leave it to Kansas to be inaudible audio on a camera because of the wind. Um, so anyways, we are sitting in McPherson, I'm sorry, I was corrected, McPherson, Kansas. Um, at a company here that's receiving the two pieces that Joe and I have just brought up. So I think last week, um, last week I posted like a really short video of all of us lined up and I said Joe and I were coming up, uh, we were going to Galveston to load a couple pieces. So we loaded um, two halves to one whole part, if that makes any sense, of an injection molding machine. So it's like a top and bottom casing of, uh, you know the whole thing is like 35 pieces but the main injection or the main molding portion is two two big pieces and that's what we have so um joe came down with the five axle he got the piece that's um 104,000 and some change and then we got the piece that's 99,500 pounds so um we loaded Monday in Galveston. I didn't film anything because right off the bat, we knew it was gonna be a long day. We showed up at 8.30 uh, and there was like a payment issue. Um, so the port wasn't gonna release the pieces yet. So we couldn't even load. It was probably about 11.30 before they figured that whole situation out and put us over to the crane. And then it wasn't 3.30 before we got out of there. So or before we were loaded and then we couldn't leave the port until just after five because of a curfew we would run into up in Houston. So um, basically Monday was just a really long day. Wouldn't have been so much to, to film. So I just kind of let it be. Um, then yesterday we were threatening, threatening bad weather all day. So we didn't, I just didn't set the camera up. Um, anyways, <clears throat> what I can talk about right now is while we're waiting on the rigging crew somebody has asked inevitably on almost every video something about permits so more specifically i was just recently asked about my texas permit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what our permits look like and the routings and stuff so um what's the best way to do this let's get bring you guys over here all right, so basically what happens is when we request a permit through the state, we'll get a, uh, we, we send our request through to the um, permit department we use or the uh, permit service that we use. And basically they submit everything to the state. Um, so this is what we'll get back. Now this is, um, I don't know why I said Texas and then I pulled out Oklahoma. Let's go in here, Texas. So throw that down throw this down so texas this is uh basically what uh, a texas state permit looks like now this is a four page permit you don't want to see that um actually it doesn't really matter so yeah uh permits aren't cheap you know and that's why it's not exactly cheap for us to move this stuff i mean heck our oklahoma permit where is this one so that's just an idea right there. I mean, that was just two two permits and that's, uh, you know, 900 bucks. So anyways, your permit, basically what it has is it goes through what your permitted uh, dimensions are. Now, most of you guys will probably not know, but if you are into trucking, you know that uh, your legal width is eight feet, six inches. Your legal height is 13 six. So this means I'm permitted just to be legal. Uh, length there's not so each state has a different length law some states are ridiculous like 58 feet or 65 feet um so we're almost all the way over uh this roh would be rear overhang so anything hanging over the tail of the trailer foh is obviously front overhang so anything over the front of the trailer um this is saying that since it's legal we have nothing hanging over the fronts of the trailer and then obviously here's our our permitted weight now it breaks it down now it breaks that 144,000 pounds down into axle groups and uh, configurations. So here there's eight axles showing that I'm permitted on eight. And then it's got the per axle weight rating, or not weight rating, but weight uh, permitted. So um, 
I'm permitted for 72,000 pounds on the quad back there, but no more, no axle can be over 18,000 pounds. So, um, yeah. And then it goes into like your tire size and how many tires you have and, and all that stuff. Uh, this is, this here is just basic information on like, uh, the, the truck and the company and where it's going. Um, then, then it goes into route conditions. Uh, you know, this one has a Houston, um, a Houston city restriction because we're over eight, six wide. Um, you know, it says we're not allowed to move, uh, between six, six and 9 AM and four to 7 PM Monday through Friday. Um, then you go down into general conditions. This is basically what applies uh, to every permit. Basically says that even if the permit tells you to be on that route, uh, if it's a route that is not rated for your weight, uh, tough shit, you're getting thrown to the wolves. Now I'm not gonna go over through all this stuff. This is just more general restrictions that go with every permit. And then here we start getting into the routing. Now, um, obviously we did not request every single one of these routes, but this is the way the state of Texas decided we, they wanted to run us. So, um, i just kind of run through a couple of these here. You guys can rewind the video or whatever if you want to track how we went. Um, And then that was it. That basically took us into Oklahoma. So that is that. And then I believe that's the last. Okay, so yeah, that's the last page of the, page of the Texas permit. Now, every state permit, though different, is going to be the same. You know, this one will have all the same information on it. It's just formatted differently because it's a different state. Um, you know, some states come with a map, which is useless, like Oklahoma. Uh, and here's our here was our route through Oklahoma. Um, it looks like a lot. Oklahoma wasn't actually that bad. Um, it's just, you know, it is what it is. It's just kind of the things that we go through. So for those of you guys out there that may ever get aggravated because there's a, um, there's an oversized load in front of you and you're wondering why the hell he's on that road or why the heck he's going 40 miles an hour or if you're come up on the interstate and there's a couple pilot cars that have um, the road blocked off and, and an oversized load is barely moving down the street, it's not because he wants to. I will tell you that much. In fact, let me uh, let me show you this. Uh, so here's our Kansas permit. Uh, basically here, these big spaces in between blocks, these are structure crossing restrictions, okay? so. The state said, hey, this is the route you can take. All structures on this route basically are um, rated for the weight that you have. However, we have restrictions on each route. So um, right here, basically we take this turn onto Kansas 49 North, right? Or I'm sorry, we're on 49 North and then we turn East onto Kansas 42. Well, once we're on that, we have this restriction, which is a structure crossing, which means is North Branch, which is either a road or um, it's in like a town or something like that. Um, this is like your general vicinity of where it'll be. Um, this is saying that you're going over a bridge. So if I was tall or wide, this restriction might say under, as if I was going under an overpass or something, but this is an overpass. And here's the speed, look at this right here, speed, less than 10 miles an hour and then we have that restriction on here uh, quite a few times and then here's one for less than 45 miles an hour now mind you these are all in um 70 mile an hour zones so there is a very good reason for everything that we do and 99 percent of the times it's because the state is telling us that is what we're required to do um trust me no part of me like slowing down from 70 miles an hour to 10 miles an hour and then getting back up to 70 not that we run 70 with this but whatever speed it is that we're running um you'll have other states like the state of ohio if you're permitted in the state of ohio your permit speed is 55 miles an hour same as new york uh unless you're on the turn the throughway you know so it doesn't matter uh how fast i can run how light i am how wide i am you know, each state is gonna give me a very specific set of instructions that I have to follow because if I don't, the fines are astronomical. So, 
That being said, the next time you're pissed off because you're stuck behind an oversized load that's going a little bit too slow or is driving in the center lane for some reason, just take a breath, relax. He's probably instructed to be there by the state for a reason. Um, and he'll be out of your way in a minute. He'll be out of your way much faster if you just be patient than you will if he ignores something and clips the load on the side of a bridge or plows through a bridge because he was going too fast. Um, just be patient. But I digress. So that is just uh, a little bit of information on permits. I know I said I would make a video on it. Um, it's kind of difficult to make a video on ordering permits because I'm on the phone and there's uh, some information in there that I can't give out like addresses to customers and, and, and stuff like that. So um, I'll probably won't make a, uh, a full video on, on just ordering a permit, but hopefully that'll answer a bunch of your questions. If, you, if it doesn't, you know, you can always throw them in the comment section and I'll get to them. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go back to waiting. <laughs> 